So now you know how to save the content of a data frame as CSV file. Now let us take a look into how the file are then really stored on the file system level. And because we are between the Databricks programming environment, we will have to take a look into how our file was stored in the Databricks file system. So to take a look into the Databricks file system from the UI, we go to the data section. Then we open the add data page. Then we select Databricks file system. We select the file store and the output. So we select file store and output because this is where we save the file output, also file store output. And then we created a file called customer purchase level.csv. So customer purchase level.csv. So one thing you will notice here is that Apache Spark does not use the part we specified to create a single file, but it used this name to create a folder for us. And inside this folder, we have multiple file existing the file that really contains data are the one starting with path in front of the name and the other file are information are metadata about the writing process itself so the question is now why does apache spark created so many files out of one single data frame with 20 with only 20 record because our if we take a look at the, the customer purchase label data frame that count to see how many records are inside this data frame you will notice that we only have 20 records in them that's also how why if we say show dot 25 So there are only 20 records here. So, but why does Apache Spark create so many single file out of one data frame with only 20 records? So let's take a look into one of those part file. This is now a little bit of a lottery game. Let's see if we can hit a file with contain. Exactly. Here you can see that we have one file with only one record in it. So to understand why this is happening, we still we need to go back and revisit how Apache Spark really stores data frame on the file system. To do that, we will go back to OneNote where I will show you something. So let's say we have one large file. That is quite large and we have a cluster of around three three machines to work with so to be able to utilize all the computational power available in our cluster apache spark will breaks up our data into chunks and each chunk is called a partition per default apache spark will split every file it reads into 200 different partition so per default we will have like 200 partition per file this means in our case if we read one large file apache spark may then decide to send 60 partition on this machine and 70 and 70 here so apache spark does it to be able to work with data in so in parallel and a data frame partition represent how the data is physically distributed ac across a cluster of machine 
so if you want if you have only one machine and 100 and 100 partition our level of parallelism is only one because it doesn't make any sense if you have only one machine and thousand of and one thousand of partition because in that case all the resources necessary to process the data are the only resources available on this machine so this doesn't make any sense at all this won't increase your performance or something like that so if you if you have multiple machine in your cluster and apache spartan break up the data into many partition and distribute them across all the machine in the cluster this will improve the speed and the performance of your data analytics tools this is why when we go back here into the data big programming environment this is the reason why if we go here say customer purchase level there's a way to find out how many partition a given data frame has and we can do that with the rdd method dot get num partitions this will return the number of partitions for a given data frame and we know exactly that this data frame only has 20 rows but let's check how many partitions are available for this data frame 200 and this is exactly what is happening when we then later start to save to save the data apache spark then write each partition separately to the file system this is the reason why we have so much so so many files for a single data frame with only 20 record it is because for a data frame apache spark create per default 200 partitions we will see later how we can change the structure of a data frame by using operation like repartition or even an operation called so coalesque so this is i think this is all you need to know when you are writing data using apache spark